I'm sitting outside today because we are trying out the Huda Beauty base products in natural lighting because most of the time you see videos where there is artificial lighting and in real life we are always in natural lighting we don't stay around artificial lighting as much so let's go and see how well these look in natural lighting today we're starting with the huda beauty easy blur primer your go-to for achieving a smooth flawless canvas this primer is all about minimizing pores controlling shine and giving your skin that blurred airbrushed effect i'm taking a small amount and applying it to my t-zone and areas where i want to reduce texture what i love most is that it creates the perfect base for makeup allowing your foundation to go on seamlessly and last all day talking of which next up is the huda beauty easy blur foundation this formula is the perfect blend of weightless texture and medium to buildable coverage i'm using the shade 320 golden today is infused with 1.5 niacinamide to brighten and smooth while pore blowing silica gives that soft airbrush finish serum like consistency melts into the skin evening out my complexion without feeling heavy it's the ideal foundation for those looking for a naturally radiant perfected look that lasts all day just a few drops and you're ready to go smooth seamless and effortless here I am going in with the peach color corrector also by Huda Beauty. I wanted to see how other products such as the concealer, blush and also loose powder works on top of the primer and foundation. Huda Beauty concealer is one of my favorite full coverage concealers so usually I don't require color correcting but I feel like for this video I wanted to show you guys how well this color corrector works and if you do need extra color correction for your under eyes then this is a perfect option. Of course, went in with the Huda Beauty Concealer. This is a luminous matte finish and I have the shade Cookie Dough. This isn't my brightening shade, but I love this finish. It's hydrating, melts into the skin and is crease proof. I usually find that when I use liquid blushes, it lifts off the rest of my makeup. So here I am trying out the Huda Beauty blusher on top of the whole base and I feel like it blended out effortlessly. This is in the shade Strawberry Cream. Blusher smells so good. It's very nostalgic for some reason. Reminds me of something pigmented and I love the finish. I need to pick up more shades. I didn't completely blend out my concealer. I was waiting for it to marinate so I get the fullest coverage. So here I am just quickly blending out the rest of the concealer so I get the maximum coverage and here is the final finish so if you were wondering why my concealer wasn't blended out fully here's the reason now of course going in with the best loose powder in the world the easy bake powder and i've been using this for years and years and it never disappoints this powder is a must-have if you want the airbrushed under eye look and i am using the shade cherry blossom i have two shades power and cake and cherry blossom i feel that the cherry blossom shade does make my under eye look a little bit brightening I don't bake my under eye because my skin is naturally very very dehydrated and dry. I just go in with the powder on a powder puff and then press it into my skin and then continue to press until the powder fades away. Now there was a whole debate that is it the powder or is it the foundation. I truly believe that all three products work so well together. It's literally a whole routine and here I am getting a little bit close up and personal. This is my completed base look. I didn't add any other powder product like powder bronzer or even highlighter, blusher or anything like that. I just added some lipstick and also a little bit of eye makeup. I hope you guys could get a better understanding on how these two products, the Huda Beauty Easy Blur Primer and the Easy Blur Foundation look in natural lighting because I do love the way that it looks in natural lighting as well because sometimes with artificial lighting it can be a little bit deceiving but even in natural lighting this foundation does really well and I love the way it looks. It does give a filter look i never had the primer until i bought the foundation i went back and then bought the primer i love the way the primer feels it feels so cooling and refreshing i don't have very obvious pores so i can't really comment on how well it works to diminish those pores if you do have very very open pores but it is silicon free so it won't clog so anyone who is acne prone it won't actually cause any more acne breakouts also secondly i do love the way both of these work together i feel like it does help the foundation glide on better overall i love both of these foundation and primer combo if you guys are on the hunt for a new foundation and primer then definitely try out huda beauty if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe